Well, good afternoon, everybody. My name's Meg Hill, and I'm the Managing Director of Cruise Express. I'm delighted to welcome you all to episode three of this current series of our information sessions. Many of us, have, of course, are still in lockdown um, and at home in Victoria, uh, the ACT, and here in New South Wales. But thank you for joining us uh, from wherever you are. Uh, and we're delighted to have people tuning in from across the country today. Um, I'm hoping the weather is as beautiful uh, for you as it has been here in Sydney today. Um, now, as always, before we begin, just a few little housekeeping rules. Uh, first of all, we do ask that you please remain on mute throughout the presentation so that we don't interrupt um, our guest speaker today. Um, also, the, um, Kathy did mention in the um, information we sent out to you all that we will actually be playing a couple of videos today. And so we recommend that you make sure that any applications or other, th um, other uh, tabs in the background of your device are actually turned off. That will make sure that the sound and, and visual quality of the videos um, plays at optimum level today. Uh, as always, we're really, really keen to hear your questions uh, and, and we do uh, wait until the end of the presentation to, to look at those and, and run through them and answer them for you. But please use the chat um, box at the bottom of your screen. You can just click on the icon, type in your messages and Kathy will be monitoring those questions throughout the presentation and we'll address them at the end uh, of the session. Um, as in previous weeks also, we are recording today's session uh, and that's for a couple of reasons. Uh, there are some people who um, are keen to see the session today but are not able to join us at this time. So we'll be able to share the link with them a little later. Uh, we will also share it with all of you. So if you want to go back and look at any information again later, you're welcome to do that. And we will upload the session to our YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if any of you are aware that we do have a YouTube channel. Uh, and in addition to um, sessions like this, we have all sorts of other content um, sessions that we recorded during lockdown last year. Uh, some beautiful um, videos of our amazing heritage rail travel that we um, have been working on over the last few years. So be sure to pop across to, uh, to that if you're interested in looking at any more content. Um, so today, I'm very, very pleased that we are going to be introducing you to Viking Cruises. It's going to be an action-packed hour um, uh, because we'll be talking about expedition, river and ocean cruising, as Viking offers all three styles uh, um, of cruising. So I'm delighted today to welcome Australia's commercial manager, Ramon Drew from Viking. Uh, he's also based here in New South Wales. Um, Ramon, hello to you. Hello. Hello, Meg. Hello, Cathy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, this is certainly a great pleasure to be here today. I promise I won't keep everybody until all hours of the morning. So <laughs> uh, although I can talk for that, I've been known to talk quite a bit. So uh, I, I will probably talk relatively quickly and um, it's going to be a very conversational piece for you this afternoon. So please uh, do ask questions uh, as we go through and we'll see uh, how we go. Thank you. Fantastic. So people may have been following us on Facebook for some time and uh, they may have previously seen that we have actually um, uploaded a couple of Facebook live posts that we did, uh, one of which was one that I did in the beautiful port of uh, Monte Carlo going back a couple of years ago when I had the pleasure of cruising on Viking Star with, with a girlfriend. Uh, it was one of the most amazing things I've ever done. Um, lots of fun, and it was quite a unique cruising experience, I have to say, too. So, uh, Ramon, I'm going to hand, hand over to you now, and um, I think you, you're going to start by telling us why cruising with Viking is different. Absolutely. Okay, so let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there we go. So just a little bit about Viking, if you don't know our story, um, we were launched in 1997. We are a family owned company. A gentleman, Torsten Hagen, uh, launched 
the company uh, on the river in um, Moscow. Moscow to St. Petersburg is where we started. Um, and then in 2015, we launched our ocean cruising and also coming up, we have our expedition and our Mississippi. And now Torsten built the company up from the river cruising company. And you may or may not be aware that we completely refreshed our river fleet starting in 2012 with our brand new longship, which you'll learn more about as we go through. So what is different about Viking? Well, first of all, um, we regard ourselves as the thinking person's crews. So our crews are very much set up for the destination. They're very destination focused cruising. You will notice when you look at our itineraries that you will pretty much be in a port nearly every day of the cruise. And we do try to spend as much time in that port as physically possible. As an example, if you're cruising out of Venice and you fly into Venice to join the cruise, we would usually start with an overnight in Venice, which then gives you the whole next day in Venice. So you're not actually sailing straight out of the town uh, as you start. One of the things that we do um, focus also on um, is our onboard enrichment. So this is very much part of being the thinking person's cruise. We have uh, resident historians on board. We have a lot of lectures that are focused on the destinations you're going to. Now, these lectures are not just port talks. They're actually really in-depth lectures and they're actually uh, they're actually very uh, informative. As an example, when I cruised on our wonderful Hong Kong to Bangkok cruise around Vietnam and Cambodia, we had a gentleman who actually was from the American embassy in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City from the 1970s. And he actually just completely opened everybody's mind to both of these destinations and their whole culture and everything they've been through. It really gave the whole experience of going to these destinations, it raised it to another whole level altogether. So that's our onboard enrichment and that's why we do believe we are the thinking person's cruise. We are also small ship experts. So our ocean ships only have 930 guests on board and no more. So there is a lot of space on board our ships because they are a 48,000 tonne ship on the ocean. Uh, because what Torsten wanted to do when we went into ocean, they actually went out and surveyed all our river cruise guests that had cruised with us over the past 15 or so years and said, if you wanted to go on an ocean cruise, what would you like? They all responded with, if you can recreate what we get on the river and put it on ocean, then we would cruise with you. And that's exactly what we've done. So if you haven't cruised with Viking on river or ocean, it is a very, different cruise experience. It is certainly not your re regular cruise ship. And you will see more of that as we go through today. The other thing is that we are very inclusive. Now, I like to remind people when you look at our brochure and you see our pricing or you go onto our online and you see our pricing and you might look at one of our pet competitors whose pricing is uh, looks a lot lower that's because they don't have the inclusions that we include. What mainly a shore excursion in every port really makes up a substantial amount of additional expense that you put onto an ocean cruise. Also free Wi-Fi on board. We include free Wi-Fi all on board our ocean and river ships. We include all our enrichment lectures and destination performances. We include all our specialty dining. So there is no additional charge for going to our specialty dining. And you can dine as many times as you like in our specialty dining restaurants. We also include beer, wine and soft drink with our lunch and dinner. And this is really great for a lot of our guests who like to have their glass of wine. They're happy to have their glass of wine with their lunch and dinner. Uh, as it's already included, they don't have to worry about reaching into their pocket for that. However, if you are someone that does like to have a, a drink outside of meal times, we have the best priced beverage package in the industry. It is currently 20 US dollars per person per day, and that is for unlimited uh, 
however much you can drink, each individual drink does need to be no more than 20 US, sorry, 15 US dollars on ocean or 15 euro on river. But you can drink anything up to that price, as many of them as you want to. Um, so it's quite unlimited and it pretty much covers everything on our bar menu as well. We also have on our ocean ships, a stocked complimentary mini bar and it's subject to your stateroom category. So as an example, on the lead-in veranda category stateroom, you'll have a stocked mini bar with um, soft drinks and snacks at the beginning of the cruise. If you go up to the next level with our deluxe veranda, you'll have it stocked every day with soft drinks and snacks. If you go up to the penthouse veranda level, which is only two steps up from that, from that initial leading, then you actually have it stocked every day with your choice of alcoholic beverage. And you would just let your stateroom attendant know what that is. And that's stocked every day in the mini bar or complimentary. One of the other things that I'd like to point out is we do not restrict our guests bringing their own alcohol on board the ship. So if you buy your duty free on the way over, and you're in a deluxe veranda cabin, you're quite welcome to have a Bacardi and Coke with your Coke that's restocked every day. And you can um, have as much alcohol in your stateroom as you can carry. We do not take it off you as you board. Um, and so it's actually, a, we're very open about what people can bring as far as alcohol onto the ship. And in some cases we do encourage it because if you go out on an excursion to a winery, you may want to take some bottles back and enjoy it with your dinner, which you can certainly do. And we do not charge corkage for that if you take your wine down to dinner with you. We also include specialty teas, coffees and bottled water throughout the day. And also importantly, uh, access to all our spa facilities on our ocean ships are all complimentary. You do not need to book a spa session just to get access. They, the spa is open from eight in the morning till eight in the evening. And you can see an example of the spa there with the, the, the um, heated stone beds. And I can tell you if, when you see the spa, when we go through today, it will certainly make you want to, just to get on the ship for the spa. We have brilliant self-serve laundries on board. You do not need to worry about bringing extra coinage or anything like that to use. You don't need to worry about bringing soap from home or anything like that. They are automated. So basically on our ocean ship, you take your laundry down, you put it in the washing machine, you press the button for the soap, you put your timer on, you come back in 45 minutes, it's done. You take it out, put it in the dryer, set it for another 45 minutes, it's done. Then take it back to the stateroom. Very, very easy. And of course, on all our pricing, all our port taxes, fees and charges are all included. So we're not adding anything on. And importantly, your gratuities on board our ships are all included. We do not add a gratuity to your account every day. It's already included in your fare. The only thing is that if you go on a shore excursion, We've left that up to our guests to decide if they'd like to give a gratuity or not. And usually that's based on one or two US dollars for the, um, the tour guide or the coach driver. And we leave, we've been asked to leave that up to individual guests because they like to have that ability. Um, but on board the ship, you are not getting something added to your account every day, which is very important. So a very inclusive. So when you add all these costs up, when you are doing a comparison, you can see that it does add up to a substantial amount. So what sets us apart Further, of course, we had no children on board. There is no one on board our ocean or river ships under the age of 18. It is uh, purely an adults only environment. We have no casinos on our ocean ships nor on our river ships. Uh, and as you know already, there's no charge for beer, wine and soft drink with lunch and dinner. We also have no inside staterooms. So every... Um, Stateroom on our ocean ship has a balcony and every stateroom on our river ships has a minimum of a window. And again, no charge for Wi-Fi. Um, you have 
unlimited access. You can bring your own devices with you and join the Wi-Fi on board the ship or both on our river and ocean ships. We do have a um, small internet cafe area available, which is all complimentary. We're also not a nickel and diming cruise line. So we don't have art auctions and we have no photographers taking your photo as you join the ship, expecting you to buy the photo as you disembark. So we're definitely not a nickel and diming uh, environment on board. Pretty much once you've um, paid your fare with biking, there is not much else that you would purchase unless you're wanting to purchase any additional shore excursions. So we have the included excursion in every port and there are additional options which you can choose to purchase if you do so wish. And we are, as I already mentioned, no uh, additional port charges. We also don't have any formal nights or butlers, but you do have a stateroom attendant. We offer a more relaxed cruise experience. So we don't expect our guests to bring formal attire with them. We do not have any um, dress up evenings. So you don't have to worry about cocktail gowns and black tie. What people wear in the evening to dinner, gentlemen would wear a collared shirt and trousers and ladies what you would wear to a nice restaurant. We also don't have any theme nights. So you don't need to worry about packing white clothes for a white night or anything like that with Viking because we are focused on seeing the destinations and we want to make it as comfortable and as relaxed for you as we can. And as mentioned already, no charge for specialty teas and coffees or bottled water throughout the ships. Ramon, I have to say those taglines are really quite catchy, especially, you know, no casinos and no kids. Um, and many people who, um, who know Cruise Express and, and know me well um, know that I have a daughter who's passionate about cruising. Um, and one of her um, primary focuses when it comes to cruising is to be old enough to cruise with biking. <laughs> she you know, couldn't wait to get to 18. And of course, now we're, we're not able to go anywhere. But, but for years, she used to say, oh, mom, I can't wait to be 18 and go on a Viking cruise with you. <laughs> Well, but not only, not only is it appealing to those who don't necessarily want to be on board with lots of, of, of children, but it's also a, um, an incentive, if you like, for kids who love their cruising to reach an age where they can cruise with you. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, I'm sure she'll have an opportunity not too far away, uh, we hope. <laughs> So just some important updates. So at the moment, if you make a new booking with Viking until the 30th September, and this is regardless of departure date, so you could actually book for 2024 now if you so do wish, you can change a cruise up to 14 days before your scheduled departure date. And any monies that you've paid to Viking will be put into a future cruise voucher that you have another full 24 months to book within. So you don't need to travel in that 24 months. You can just book within that 24 months. So as an example, if you book for 2024 and something came up, it can be any reason whatsoever. You do not need to tell us the reason. You can just contact Meg and the team at, at um, Cruise Express and say, look, something's come up. I, we can't take this departure. Then any monies you pay to us will be put in that voucher. So it was for 2024. If at the beginning of the year, all of a sudden there's a wedding in the family or something like that, you couldn't go at that time. You can put that into a voucher. And then in 2026, you can decide, oh, okay, we're going to use that voucher and then book for what's currently open for sale, which is usually another two years ahead. So it's very, very flexible. You also, we also have zero fees for changing your cruise. So if you do make a booking, and you can't go, but you know the new date you would like to travel in, you can change that free of charge to the new date as well. So an update on where we are currently sailing. So you may have heard in the media that internationally, a lot of countries are now opening up to all types of travel. So at the moment, we're tra we are sailing around England, in Bermuda, uh, around Iceland, uh, around Malta and the Adriatic, Malta and the Greek islands as well, and also um, a combined Malta, the Adriatic and Greece. 
and also Iceland, the British Isles and Iberian coast and Western Mediterranean escape will be starting in October. And you'll learn more about our health and safety in a video I'm about to play you after the following slide. So on our river sailings, we have started sailing in France uh, as well as Portugal. And we're just about to commence sailing, or we have commenced sailing, I beg your pardon, in our Paris to the Swiss Alps, um, as well as our Chateau Rivers and Wines, and on the Danube as well. Our grand European tour has begun, and also a passage to Eastern Europe, which is our Budapest to Bucharest, which is also a very popular itinerary. We expect our elegant Elbe, um, uh, up there around Berlin to begin in October. So we are, our river sailings are beginning to really ramp up in Europe. So I'm about to play you a video about our health and safety. This is presented by Torsten Hagen, who is our owner and CEO of Viking. I do hope this plays well for you. Dear Viking guests, I'm on board the Viking Star with colleagues. We are here to complete the work needed to have the Viking fleet return to safe sailing. It has been great to be back on board again. Over the past few months, we have all missed the opportunity to travel the world. I want to share with you that we have implemented the very highest standards of precautions on board our ships to ensure that travel with Viking is as safe as it can be in 2021. I'm extremely pleased to note that our Viking ships have structural advantages that also make them well suited for these times. Our ships are small and all our ocean ships have balconies, no shared air between guest cabins and plenty of public space, as well as outdoor dining, which we all like. To make the ships even more suitable for COVID times, there are few enhancements we have felt it appropriate to make but it's remarkable how little impact this will have on your next experience on board. There are now automated cameras that take your temperature on both ocean and river ships. On the ocean ships, we have two UVC robots. They are at work to disinfect public spaces while you'll be asleep. And the air ventilation systems have been equipped with UVC light and electrostatic filters. These are not noticeable to you, but are proven to kill 99.9% .9 of the pathogens. That includes the COVID virus. We now have a little bit more distance between the dining tables. They were already well spaced out. You will not notice a big difference from before. And in case of our river ships, I think it makes the experience even nicer. But the key to making ships safe for the future lies in testing, in the testing program that we have developed, which far exceeds the requirements of various governments around the world, and I dare say, of any of our competitors. There is wide agreement that the best testing method for COVID-19 is PCR, and also that daily tests if you could do them, are important to avoid spread of the virus on board. The problem with that for the industry has been the difficulty of having enough testing capacity on board. But at Viking, we have gone to the step of installing full-scale PCR laboratories on our ocean ships, plus a network of shoreside PCR labs on our river ships. One of our onboard labs is already installed and working here on the Viking Star using non-invasive saliva sampling, not the uncomfortable nasal swabs used elsewhere. I've been on board for a couple of days and can testify that this is truly a non-invasive method and it takes only seconds of your time every morning before you brush your teeth in the privacy of your own cabin uh, as it is. We are based our health and safety protocols on epidemiological modeling by industry experts and the involvement of Dr. Raquel Bono, a retired Vice Admiral of the US Navy. Dr. Bono 
has already been working with us several months, developing our protocols, and I'm pleased to say she is now a permanent member of our Viking family, holding the position of Chief Health Officer. We also have a partnership with one of the leading medical diagnostic firms in the world, Medicover. We will be running our labs on board on the ocean ships and provide the land-based labs for our river ships. Now, our experts agree, with daily PCR testing, it is possible to virtually eliminate any spread of virus on board our ocean or river ships. So that's like any ocean or river ship. With daily PCR testing, daily testing, one can also operate longer cruises without any significant risk of community spread on board the ships, not limiting oneself to seven days or four days or whatever. You can operate proper cruises. In fact, with daily PCR testing of guests and importantly of the crew, our modeling shows that most of us would be better off being on board a ship under our protocols than going about our daily lives at home. So that's not too bad. And we look so much forward to exploring more of the world with you in comfort as usual and with great confidence. Thank you. Ramon, that was excellent. I think such a fabulous um, uh, sort of introduction into what Viking has been doing in that uh, health and safety um, space over the past few months. And the UVC robots are incredible, aren't they? They just look um, amazing. It's incredible to think that, you know, you've, you've invested in that level of technology to um, make it safe for people to return to cruising with Viking. Absolutely. Um, Torsten has the health and safety of his guests and crew um, very much uh, at the top. Um, that's always comes first is the health and safety of everybody on board. And um, uh, everyone who's watching today, I'm not sure if you are aware, but Viking was actually the first cruise line to stop sailing last year when this, when in 2020, when this all started. Um, and because the health and safety of our guests is first and foremost and always will be. Um, and the investment is, is substantial. Mm -hmm. And also with our river ships, um, we've partnered with a lot of onshore um, uh, um, places as well that will do all the testing for us. Uh, so they'll still take the daily um, saliva and they'll take it and take it on shore because of course being on river you're much closer to shore every day so that uh, that can be handled very well uh, mm -hmm. as well. So um, beyond that you've you've been busy doing lots of other things uh, in the period that uh, you were not able to sail so tell us about some of those things. Yes we have so believe it or not over the last 18 months or so we have been very busy in launching um, quite a number of new fleet um, which I'll now introduce you to. So the first uh, and closer to home, so for those people who do not want to travel as far as Europe but would like a river cruise, is the brand new Viking Saigon. And this is due to start sailing as soon as we can recommence uh, in, uh, on the Mekong for uh, Vietnam and Cambodia. It's a beautiful new ship with only 40 staterooms on board, 80 guests and a staff of 40 on board. We have a beautiful infinity pool with a 360 degrees view, a lovely open air sky bar with shaded seating area, a wonderful spa and fitness area, and of course, free Wi-Fi throughout the ship as well. You'll see that, that the imagery here is very much fits into our Viking style, but just with that a little bit of that far Eastern um, touches to it. It's a, a wonderful itinerary, magnificent Mekong, um, which is Ho Chi Minh to Hanoi or Hanoi to Ho Chi Minh. Uh, I'll talk more about our Viking TV later in this, but there's a great episode on that that actually discusses this itinerary in detail. Uh, it is a really interesting itinerary. You'll go to Angkor Wat and Siem Reap, 
and then of course relax on the river as you sail down from Kampong Cham down to Mai Tong before you go to Ho Chi Minh with a number of nights in both Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh. Then we have Viking Atom and Viking Osiris. They are both exactly the same and they'll be sailing on the Nile in Egypt. I understand that we are one of only very few, if we are the only, that has actually invested in new river ships on the Nile in Egypt. Now, the demand that we have for this particular itinerary is substantial, which is why we've invested in two brand new ships on the Nile. And we also have Viking Ra, which is slightly smaller. Viking Ra was sailing just before COVID, Viking Aton and Viking Osiris will start sailing once we are permitted to sail again in Egypt. Oh, now I'm going backwards. And you can see some imagery there of Viking Aton and Viking Osiris. Remember, they, they're both the same. Again, they take that same Viking style and they take it to Egypt there. If anyone has not been to Egypt, I highly recommend it as a destination. It is one of those to-do bucket list destinations. I was so lucky to be in Egypt in 2005. I am so excited to be hopefully getting back there. I booked myself on this particular itinerary for the end of um, 2022. And because it's so full, I have to pay what everybody else pays because it's always full. So if you are interested in Egypt, I wouldn't wait too long to make a booking. It's a brilliant itinerary. Three nights in Cairo, a full eight days on the Nile. So unlike other operators who might only have three or four days on the Nile, we actually sail from Luxor down to Aswan and end up back in Luxor. So it's not where you're having to fly to Luxor and then out of Aswan. So you get a great time on the Nile because after experiencing that back in 2005, four days on the Nile is nowhere near enough. And the sites here, the historical sites, I cannot give you enough superlatives about witnessing this firsthand. We do have some fantastic additional add-ons for Israel beforehand and for Jordan and Petra after. So you can actually go and do this whole section of the world in the one booking through Cruise Express so that if there is a problem, it's only the one telephone call and you do not have to worry about having to change bits and pieces here and there. So it makes you very relaxed about everything is going to be handled for you. Then we have our brand new Viking Mississippi, which is due to set sail in the second half of 2022. Viking Mississippi has been a pet project for Torsten. He has been trying for years to be able to uh, have a ship be allowed to sail on the Mississippi because the, the laws to sail in the US uh, are very complex. So the ship needs to be built in the US and staffed by US staff only to be able to sail on the Mississippi. So this is launching in the second half of next year. As you can see, it's a beautiful new ship. Uh, you can see a lot more information about this in our river ship brochure and also on our website. It's a lot more modern by anything else that is actually sailing on the Mississippi. And again, it brings that same Viking style. We have a number of wonderful itineraries, but our most popular is our 15 day, which is our St. Paul to New Orleans or vice versa. Because if you've been on a river cruise before, especially in Europe, and you've done that 15 day from Budapest to Amsterdam, you know how fantastic that is a great time to be on the river. So this fits in really well with those people who have actually sailed on rivers before, would love to try something new. And it is just selling, as the old sailing saying says, like hotcakes. Mm -hmm. So I would, if you are interested in especially the 15-day itinerary, um, please have a look into it. We are now open all the way up into at the end of 2023. And I believe 2024 is about to open as well for this itinerary due to the demand that we have. 
And also a great option if you are going to the US and you are looking for something to that difference to do to actually see some of that great um, middle America and the history there that that has to offer. As you may have also heard, we have launched our expedition ships, two brand new ships, Viking Osiris and Viking Octantis, which have designed to sail into the Arctic and the Antarctic. And they are a full uh, PC Polar Class 6 ship. We have 378 guests on board, but with a crew of 260, so a 1.45 ratio. And I'm going to point out here, because I hear this a lot whenever I talk about our ocean ships, as some people, our, our expedition ships, as some people say, oh, an ex expedition ship with 378 guests on board seems a lot when, there's, when you're only allowed 100 people on the ice at one time. It is true you are only allowed 100 people on the ice at one time. However, what other people fail to tell you is that you are only allowed on the ice for about an hour and a half. So we will get everybody onto the ice once every day in all the different ports that we go to because there is a time restriction of how long you can spend on the ice. And the other thing to remember, if you do go to Antarctica, before you go out onto the ice, you must use the bathroom because you cannot use any bathroom facilities on the ice at all. It's actually forbidden. We had a, a guest speaker, David McGonigal, come into our office and do a presentation for us. And he's been down there, I can't remember how many, hundreds of times and has written a fantastic book about the Antarctic. And he said that what Viking is doing is really a game changer for going to this part of the world. And there are a number of reasons why he said, he said the way that the ship has been designed is like a viewing platform. He said, what a, a lot of people who go to Antarctic may have, be going there for different reasons. And that is the way we've set up our expedition. So if you take an expedition with Viking, you will be contacted before you embark and you'll be sent a questionnaire about what you are wanting to experience, what your interests are in going, as an example, to Antarctica. Um, and then your program will be designed around your interests in that part of the world. We have some fantastic, wonderful technology uh, on board, which I'll show you a few more things here as well. And you'll be able to see all different parts as well. We're going to have a expedition experience in our yellow submarine, and everybody has this included in their program. Um, so you'll be able to rotate through those people who want to go on the submarine experience. And also this, which you're just seeing, is our rib. This is excellent for anyone who's always wanted to go to Antarctica but didn't ever see themselves in getting into a zodiac. They couldn't see themselves sitting on the side of a zodiac. So what we have done is we've created this um, rib, which actually comes up into the ship you actually get into the rib inside the ship and then it gets lowered down into the water. And when it gets to the uh, landing site, it actually goes up onto the landing site and then you step out of the rib at the landing site. So that, that worry about getting into and out of a, a Zodiac that could be moving in the water has been removed. But also the platforms that we've des designed for getting into the Zodiacs as well is unique. There isn't an image of that here, but it is a unique, making it easier for people who want to do Zodiacs as well. Uh, a little image of the uh, staterooms on board, again, taken very much from our river and ocean ship design. It is called a Nordic balc balcony for a reason. When you go to this part of the world, it's not really worthwhile having a balcony. But what we have done is something very smart where you can see that window there 
it actually lowers halfway down. So if you are in your stateroom, you can be sitting on your sofa and looking out at the, um, the sites that you're sailing past. And if you do wish to have a more uh, fresh experience, I would have to say, you can lower the top of that um, and then you can take photos without any um, uh, window in front of you and things like that. And there is our Nordic penthouse, which is a little bit bigger. And then we do have a number of different ca ca categories on board, um, which I wasn't going to tie everybody down with going through today, but beautiful state rooms. Now, this gentleman, David McGonigal, who's been down there a number of times, said, the best thing since sliced bread is your drying closet. And we all sort of looked at him rather strange, thinking, what does he mean? It's a closet. And this is in everyone's stateroom. He said, when you go to Antarctica or the Arctic, you actually um, get quite, your clothes get quite cold and damp when you come back onto the ship. Usually people have to take two or even three changes of their wet gear with them. The drying closet is a sliced bread moment because you can put your gear in your closet. It will dry overnight in the drying closet and you'll put it on the next day, dry and nice and warm for the next adventure out on the ice. And he said that means the world to anyone who's already been there. And for anyone who's going to go, he said, this is the best thing you could look for. We've also teamed up with a real um, research going on in all parts of the world that we will be sailing these two ships. So we've gone into partnerships with these different um, organisations. They will be on board the ship doing actual research. When you fill out your questionnaire, you can say you want to be involved in the research. So when you are on the ship, they will reach out to you when they are involved doing researches because we do have full research labs on board. And you can see all the imagery for that in our um, expedition brochure and also on the website. But after you come back from your experience, your expedition experience, they will keep you updated on the research that you've been involved in. So it's a quite an immersive experience on anyone who's interested in this research that's going on in all these destinations that our wonderful expedition ships will be sailing to. Uh, as you've seen, the equipment on board, so we've got our, our submarine and our ribs. We do have our, um, our military pro zodiacs, and we also have kayaks for those people who are wanting to be a bit more uh, active, and they are actually pedal um, controlled, so you can pedal uh, power them. So we'll be sailing through the Antarctic, and if anyone uh, understands expedition is exactly that, the itinerary won't be set. You'll be going to where the action is happening that day, uh, and that's something to be aware of. Um, so it's a wonderful 13-day itinerary. One of the great designs about our two ships is that they are faster and they are smoother for getting through this particular part of the world. So they can um, plough through that Drake Passage and get you down there a lot quicker so you spend more time in that Antarctic region going into those different areas that you can see there, the different landing spots to go on shore. And also with the Arctic, um, the same thing. You'll go to where the action is. You'll go to where there is the wildlife to see, um, where there is something that there is research going on. We are also taking these two expedition ships into the Great Lakes. So you'll be able to say from, sail from Toronto to Milwaukee. And there are a number of different itineraries here as well. The ships have been designed to fit through the locks that can take you up into the Great Lakes between the Canada and US. And this is another really great, unusual uh, destination for Australian guests to experience because it's something that's not really been open to us before um, to this extent. Here's one of the introductory itineraries. This is New York through to Toronto. So you can join the beautiful expedition ship in New York and then sail all the way through to Toronto. You could then add on the following itinerary, which is Toronto through to Milwaukee. 
And a lot of the itineraries in the Great Lakes, which you can see here, are, are then all eight day itineraries, which you can add on back to back because they are all different. So again, if you are going to the United States and you are looking for something to do, maybe even for the eight days, have a look at some of our Great Lake itineraries and they will be occurring over that summer period uh, in the United States. Uh, and a great way to see another part of the world that is quite untouched. There are areas around that Great Lakes of the United States and Canada that is very much untouched. So that's our new ships. And I'm going to talk a little bit now more about where we started and our river ships. So this is our beautiful long ships. Now they sail on all the waterways through Europe. We now have 70 plus long ships sailing in different parts of Europe that are all exactly the same. The only difference with our long ships is in um, Portugal, they are they're slightly, slightly shorter. And I'll talk about our new long ships in Paris shortly as well. The Viking longships are the way to explore Europe, sailing the continent's tranquil and historic waterways. It's a beautiful day along the river and we'd like to take the opportunity to show you around one of our longships. The Viking Lounge is light and airy, a natural gathering place for new friends, for entertainment and for lectures. Architecturally, the bar has actually been clinker built, which is very similar in style to the way the Vikings built their long ships in their day. And you love these floor to ceiling wraparound windows. They're taller than me, even when I'm on heel. Just off the light filled reception area is the spacious, well stocked library. We have free Wi Fi on all our ships, but should you choose to leave your computers behind, you're of course welcome to use our laptops here in the internet corner of the library. Up top, ever changing views are just one part of this vast deck. These ships are a marvel of technology with ecologically friendly hybrid engines for smooth sailing. We even have solar panels lining both sides of our long ships. And we have an herb garden so that when our great chef runs out in the kitchen, he can come upstairs and, and the thread and pick your own fresh herbs. The dining room is spacious and inviting with complimentary wine served at both lunch and dinner. As on all our Viking ships, we have open seating dining. And this means that you can sit with whomever you want, whenever you want, and you can change that every day if you like. And though the food is exquisite, the dress code is rather casual and relaxed. You can leave all your fancy frocks at home. Or you can dine amid spectacular views on the Aquavit Terrace. This is my favourite part of the ship. On a sunny day like today, the Aquavit Terrace is the perfect place for a spot of lunch. The skylight capped area also doubles as an inviting sunroom. This is a quiet hideaway you don't want to miss. And when it's time to rest your head at night, there are plenty of delightful options, many with private verandas, plus the ultimate in river cruise accommodations. We have two Explorer Suites on our long ship series and it can't get very much better than this. Come experience the Viking longships for yourself and discover why they're the most talked about ships in Europe. So that's our beautiful longship. I'd just like to point out um, something that's quite unique to our longships in Europe. And this is something that Torsten did when he um, completely replaced the fleet starting back in 2012 he patented the design. So we are the only river cruise company that has this area, this Aquavit Terrace and Lounge at the front of the river ship. And this is a marvellous place. You can actually go and have breakfast, lunch or dinner when you're sailing along and you're actually quite protected from the wind, as you can see with the glass panelling there. Um, having experienced this firsthand, it is really e exceptional. And for... Us in Australia, we just love to be always in the outdoors. And the other advantage of this, if you've been on a river cruise, you know sometimes they have to close that top deck because they're going under low bridges. Because we have this large area at the front, 
that means everyone still has the opportunity to be outside in the sunshine and enjoying the views as they're sailing along. So that is very unique to Viking. I'll have a quick go over some of our river itineraries quickly because I know we are getting tight for time. So our wonderful 15 day Amsterdam to Budapest, very, very popular itinerary. But what's becoming even more popular at the moment is we are finding that people are booking now for the European sojourn because it goes from Bucharest to Amsterdam. So it's just that much longer, pretty much a week longer than our, uh, so it's three weeks on the river um, from Bucharest to Amsterdam or vice versa. And it's very, very popular. People are booking this moving forward because I think everyone's realising when they get the chance to go back to Europe, they want to get everything done. So this is why this itinerary has become extremely popular um, with what our clients are booking. Also, we have the wonderful France's Finest, which is a combination of two of our itineraries, our Avignon to Lyon and also our Paris to Normandy. And you're joined by an included TGV uh, on this particular itinerary. Again, a very popular itinerary, but also something that you will find is with our Paris to Normandy, we've introduced these new Seine class river ships which now dock here in Port de Grenal, which is only an 11 minute walk to the Eiffel Tower. We are one of only very few river cruise lines to be able to sail all the way up into Paris. So you can actually be on the ship and you can go out and adventure around Paris without having to take a cab ride for a good 30 minutes from Le Pec, which is pretty much where everyone else will be docking. And that's in good traffic. So this is another great advantage that we have with our, our ship, our Seine class ships, which are same as our long ships, but they've been designed with different engines and a slightly different hull to be able to sail further up the Seine into Paris. And where we began, our waterways of the Tsar, Moscow to St. Petersburg, and this has our original Russian ships, which we own. We are the only river cruise line to own our own Russian ships, which means we have been able to gutter them and keep them up to date to Viking standard. We do not need to wait to, for a company we're leasing anything from. So we own our ships in Russia and we are the only river cruise line to own our own fleet in Russia. And again, very popular itinerary, our Moscow to St. Petersburg or vice versa. And again, Paris, uh, um, Lisbon to Portugal, uh, Portugal's rivers of gold. Again, a very popular itinerary, starting with two, two nights in Lisbon. Then we take you up to Porto and sail up a um, beautiful river there. And you can go up to Salamanca and back to Porto is where we finish. And again, this is another very popular itinerary. This particular ship has a plunge pool on the top deck. It is a smaller, uh, same design as our long ship, but just smaller because the locks on the river here are um, slightly smaller. Obviously, we can't go through every one of our river itineraries today, um, but all, by all means, um, let uh, Meg and the team know you would like a river brochure and we will have that sent out to you. And then here's our beautiful ocean ships. As mentioned, these were designed by the feedback we got from our original river guests on what they would like to experience on an ocean ship. The All Veranda Viking Star is the ship our river guests inspired us to build. With just 930 guests, Viking Star is genuinely human in scale. A small ship thoughtfully designed to enrich your journey in every aspect and being intimate in size, we're able to dock in prime locations. We also use the latest green technology as Viking Star meets the strictest environmental regulations. Outside, our main pool with retractable roof is always perfect for a swim, even if the weather should be less than perfect. And we didn't just add an aft pool, we created the infinity pool to give you a sense of swimming right in your destination. When you yearn for serenity, the winter garden is the place to unplug and indulge in an afternoon tea service. Even the spa experience has been reimagined. 
In addition to holistic methods, we follow Nordic tradition with a treatment that combines an invigorating sauna with our remarkable snow brush, where snowflakes gently descend from the ceiling through chilled air to greatly improve the body's circulation. Every destination has its own flavor, and on board Viking Star, you can taste them all. Our menus feature regional specialties made with locally sourced ingredients, along with always available American classics. There are multiple dining options, from relaxed and casual to our elegant dining room. Perhaps you'd enjoy the chef's table for a specially prepared tasting menu, complete with wine pairings or the Italian restaurant for a great steak or pasta. If a quiet private meal is what you desire, we offer 24 hour room service. And since the ultimate dining room is the great outdoors, Viking Star offers more alfresco dining experiences than any ship at sea. And then of course, there are the accommodations. Great care was taken to ensure that every stateroom is an inviting home on the water designed with the understated elegance Viking has come to be known for. The choices range from comfortable staterooms to spacious suites. And every one has a veranda, so you're always just steps away from stunning views. Join us as we usher in a new era of ocean cruising. On board Viking Star or sister ships Viking Sea and Viking Sky, you'll enjoy ocean cruising reimagined while exploring the world in comfort. So that is our beautiful ocean ship and they are beautiful. Um, I certainly cannot wait to be able to go back on board one of our beautiful ocean ships. And I hope it's wet everyone's appetite out there as well. I also can't wait to get back on one of our river ships. Um, they are both very, very beautiful environments to, to travel the world in. I'll just quickly go through some of our itineraries. Of course, our main homelands, Viking homelands, are very popular itineraries, Stockholm to Bergen or vice versa. Uh, and these are all covered in our ocean brochure or in search of the Northern Lights. Uh, so in search of the Northern Lights is during the winter time. And um, people, the guests that I know who've experienced this, they say it is absolutely a phenomenal experience and quite breathtaking to go to this particular part of the world that can be quite dark for most of the day, but they said it's just extraordinary to experience the Northern Lights firsthand. A very similar itinerary, but in the summer, is our Into the Midnight Sun. So this way you can go up to the top of the world where it actually doesn't even get dark at midnight. So quite an odd experience as well. That's certainly something I would really like to experience firsthand. Iceland is a very popular destination for us. Uh, Bergen to Reykjavik or return. And the Mediterranean, now this is a great 29 day itinerary from Barcelona through to Istanbul or vice versa. Now there are so many itineraries on our ocean and especially in the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean for us, uh, as well as our homelands area is very popular because the ship only having 930 guests on board is a wonderful way to experience all these ports firsthand without feeling like you're traveling with thousands of other people. So only 930 guests on board. There are a number of different Mediterranean itineraries in our ocean brochure. So if you are interested in this part of the world, please have a look. And again, Mediterranean for us is a very, very strong area that sells out very quickly. Now for something a little bit different, Barcelona to Sydney. Uh, so this is going to occur uh, at the end, towards the end of 2022 uh, in October is our first sailing and also the return uh, in 2023. So it's a great um, 82 day itinerary, uh, 24 countries and 41 uh, guided tours there for you. So this is a great idea about how to sail up to Europe if you're planning a big trip to Europe at that time of the year. I have, um, I know guests who will actually rent their homes out 
to then go and spend six months uh, doing a cruise up to Europe and time in Europe which I think is a very smart way, a very smart idea to do that because you're getting uh, funds back to actually uh, pay for this trip, which is a, a, a really good idea. Uh, and it's something that one day I could look forward to doing. Um, something closer to home, our Auckland to Sydney or vice versa. Now, this is going to be, this starts uh, in our summertime, so starts at the end of November and into December, goes through until March. And believe it or not, from the end of 2022, we will have two of our ships sailing on this itinerary. Uh, we'll have Viking Mars and also Viking... Um, Oh, gosh, um, I've just gone blank, which always comes down here. We will have two ships, though. <laughs> I do know that, um, which is a wonderful thing to be able to have the two ships sailing because, again, being such a popular itinerary and something close to home for people who are wanting to do an itinerary closer to home. But for those people who really want to go out and see the world, we actually have two departures at the end of 2023 on our world cruise for 2023-2024. Uh, now, you can join in Fort Lauderdale and sail through to London, or you can join in Los Angeles and sail through to London. And these world cruise itineraries, we include a business class flight to get you to the starting destination and home from the return. You're not restricted to actually fly over at the very beginning and fly home at the very end. You can extend time um, for a number of weeks at each end if you so do wish. And you can see all the inclusions there. And more information can be sent to you on this. If you are interested in a world cruise, Megan, the team at Cruise Express can send you out all the inclusions in our world cruises to you. And as you can see, 138 days, wonderful opportunity to go and see the whole world. Uh, and again, some wonderful offers there. If you do decide to take a world cruise, you can get additional savings if you pay in full by the 15th of November. And um, anybody booked, it says the 31st of July, but anybody booked before the end of September is still covered by our risk-free on our World Cruise itineraries as well. So that's actually been updated now to the end of September. Anyone who books on our World Cruise will be covered by our risk-free guarantee for, uh, for their bookings. Something I'd just really like to point out on uh, the web, if you just type in viking.tv, you can go and see everything that we have actually been uploading every day since we stopped cruising. We have a wonderful uh, episode on the 1st of September, for, so from last Wednesday, for our world cruise. So those people who are interested in looking more at the world cruise, go to viking.tv and you'll see a fantastic presentation by our products team in depth into that particular itinerary. But we have a different things from every day of the week. So you can spend many, many hours getting very enlightened through Viking TV and getting your taste to get out there and see the world. There's even some wonderful cooking lessons on there. There's some great art history as well. So it's a brilliant uh, place to go to actually see and get inspired for any destination you want to go to. There's hundreds of things, as you can imagine, we've been uploading every day for the last 18 months. Ramon, I think you've really highlighted that there is just so much information available for people, uh, which is fantastic because we've covered uh, an awful lot of ground today, um, only just barely touching on some of the stunning itineraries that you have on offer. So um, great information there that people can, can tap into on your Viking TV channel to see more information. That's great. And a special offer for everyone who's joined us today or anyone who um, looks 
through our episode that we've recorded for you all. Uh, anyone who books for Viking with Cruise Express before the end of September will uh, attract $100 per person onboard credit for any new booking that is made uh, before the end of September. So by the 30th of September, and you must book through Cruise Express to attract that special bonus offer. Thank you everyone for your time today. As you can imagine, I could get speak and go on and on and on <laughs> but uh, Meg said no she didn't expect everyone to bring their sleeping bag and their pajamas with them so damn maybe next time but <laughs> please if anyone would like any further information Meg and the team can send you out uh, a brochure uh, we have three brochures we have our ocean brochure our river cruise brochure and also our expedition brochure and also this information is also on our uh, vikingcruises.com.au website. And you can go into that as well. Lots of information there. You can click in and see the day-by-day -day itineraries and what they include for all the shore excursions. You can be on our website for hours on end, but any questions that you do have, please reach out to Meg and the team at Cruise Express. And, uh, and they can come through to us. We do I think have, we, uh, we do have time yeah. just, yeah, to, to, to look at a couple of those now because I have noticed whilst yeah. we've been talking, Ramon, that there are uh, some questions that people have posted. So if you don't mind, if you have time just to answer a couple of those now. Oh, absolutely. More than happy to. Fantastic. Okay, Kathy, over to you. Uh, one of the first ones were uh, the ship that you mentioned sailing around Australia and New Zealand. Did you say, was it Mars? Uh, yeah, a brand new uh, Viking Mars. Is um, Orion and Orion? And Orion. That's the one. Orion. How could I forget that? Because <laughs> that's, that's the one that's been coming down here every year thus far. So we're going to have two ships doing that itinerary. So two ships in Australian waters um, at that time of the year, at the end of this year, which is very exciting for us. Okay. So that was one of our, one of our lovely questions. Um, you mentioned that drinks are included, you know, through at meal time, lunch and dinner. Uh, cocktails, obviously, that's something that's on top. But the question uh, is, are they expensive? No. So even for those people who are happy with the wine and beer with lunch and dinner, but may occasionally like a cocktail, they don't think, oh, no, I'm not going to really have, um, I don't really need the beverage package every day. So a cocktail on board is $7.50 US, which is about $10 at the moment. I have no idea where in Sydney you can get a cocktail for $10. No. There is nowhere. <laughs> Even at a sports club these days, you can't get a cocktail for $10. A glass of wine, if you do want to um, have wine outside of meal times, it's about $5 US for a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. So... Our menu prices are very, very um, Still affordable. reasonable, very affordable. So for those people who they may not need to take the beverage package because they might think, oh, no, I'm only going to have maybe one additional cocktail a day or something like that, and then their wine and beer with, with lunch and, and, and dinner, and a lot of people do that. And also a lot of people bring their own alcohol on board as well. Okay. Terrific, thank you. Um, I guess one of the other questions, when you, when you refer to free access to the spa facilities, what exactly is, is that including massages and facials and what do you mean by free access? So free access is to the facilities, exactly. If you do want to have a treatment, that is extra. Okay. So if you're wanting to have a massage or any sort of the treatments that are available in the spa, um, you would uh, make a booking and you would pay for that treatment accordingly. Mm -hmm. But you can go in and use all the facilities. So we have, which you saw in the video, the wonderful whirlpool, the hot and cold um, routine where you go into that sauna and then you go into the ice grotto, the, the snow room, um, and all those facilities you, you can use them. There's no charge to you go into the to the spa area and use the hot tubs and uh, and just go in there and relax. And my goodness, going in there and doing the hot and cold and then relaxing on those heated stone beds, there is nothing better. 
someone when I saw that snow, that snow room, I thought, who's going to use that? When I actually went and did the routine, it's up there written on the wall, the steps to do. So you make yourself really hot for as long as you can. You make yourself really cold for as long as you can. And you do that three times. And then you go and lie on that heated stone bed and you just go, oh. <laughs> and it absolutely relaxed, but it really energizes you. I was really surprised how much energy I got um, later in the evening from doing that earlier in the day, because uh, it actually really improves the blood circulation. Okay, thank you. Um, we have an um, inquiry here. The, case, the times for meal time, like how set are they? If I wanted to eat at say 5.30 or 5.45, because of perhaps a health issue, how flexible is the so time? The, the restaurants do open at six um, and they are um, free seating. Uh, so if you do need to eat at 5.45, uh, you can have room service. It's all included. You don't pay any additional for room service at all. Um, but if you can wait that extra 15 minutes, they open at six um, and you can... All the restaurants in the evening open at six, and you can pre-book any of our specialty dining um, from six o'clock. And there's a number of different times you can pre-book for specialty dining. So even if you don't get in that day, something op might open up later. But it's very easy to get seated on board our ship. I've found when I've gone up to the main dining room, uh, it, there's never been a problem um, getting in and getting seated at any time that I've been up there, even coming right up at six o'clock. Okay. And uh, I guess a couple of COVID-related questions, not that we want to end on this note, um, but what do you know what the situation is? Obviously, a lot of cruise lines now and airlines, for that matter, are talking about, you know, we have to be vaccinated to be on board. Has Viking made a decision on that situation? Yes, at the moment, with our current cruises, we do require all our crew and all our guests to be fully vaccinated. And a lot of that is also stemming from the local government requirements. So to actually get on an aircraft, and I'm sure this is going to be the case moving forward, to be able to actually get on an aircraft to fly out of Australia, you will need to be fully vaccinated. Um, so for those people who are unsure or there is a medical reason around your vaccination, I would highly recommend talking to your doctor um, about what you can do. Um, but uh, we, we are finding that um, everybody who is cruising is, is very happy to be fully vaccinated and they are obviously very happy that all the crew and all the other guests on board are fully vaccinated. Okay, terrific. I'm conscious of the time, so um, any, any other questions I can direct answers an email. Perhaps Absolutely. Tomorrow. Okay. Yep. That yep. sounds great. Thanks so much, Cathy. Um, okay. Ramon, any closing words that you wanted to finish with? Oh, just to remind everyone, if you would like any of our wonderful brochures, because they are really nice brochures, they're lovely to be able to sit with a cup of coffee and, and flick through and get inspired to, for uh, the destinations and for the different itineraries. Again, please reach out to Meg and the team um, and they will send out, I believe Kathy's going to send out a follow-up email. So if you do want anything, she'll be asking for your details uh, for that. Um, and thanks again, everyone, for your time today. It's been an absolute pleasure. As you can guess, I can talk and talk and talk. <laughs> I do love our products very dearly. Um, and I am so privileged to be in the position I am and working with such a wonderful company uh, who really look after all their guests and all their staff, first and foremost. So thank you, everyone, for your time today. Mm -hmm. Ramon, thank you so, so much. It's been such an entertaining hour. Um, and I think uh, if I speak of, on behalf of those who've joined us today, so much fascinating information that you've shared with us today and so many incredible opportunities that we can all start to think about in terms of where we might like to, to travel to next. And I think it's, uh, it's so wonderful that within your, um, your one uh, brand, you offer such diverse styles of cruising you know whether it's on the rivers in Egypt or or um, the Mississippi or in Vietnam um, let alone all of the the opportunities across Europe uh, or whether it's an you know an ocean cruise 
up to those amazing or the 82 night cruise from Barcelona to Sydney or all back again, again is just um, uh, really, really um, catchy. And, and I think uh, um, I can speak on behalf of a couple of uh, people within our own organisation that are looking at that one very closely. <laughs> so um, some wonderful opportunities. And then, of course, there's the expedition cruising as well. So uh, quite incredible. Um, so thank you so much for, for um, joining us. It's been a, a really interesting time and we really appreciate you taking uh, today to, to share so much wonderful information with us. Um, we will be in touch again soon, everyone, uh, with more information about our next information session. It's going to be in two weeks' time, so on Thursday, the 23rd of September. We will be... Um, focusing on cruising in different parts of Australia during that session. So for those of you that are perhaps thinking that you'd like to uh, look at something very close to home, uh, you might look out for the information about our next session, which we'll be releasing in a few days time. Um, in the meantime, please let us know if there's anything that you would like us to focus on in future sessions, uh, whether it's a particular destination, whether it's a cruise line that you'd like to learn more about. Uh, we're very much open to your ideas, so please um, share that information with Kathy. I think everybody would have the events at cruiseexpress.com.au email address, um, and we would love to hear from you about uh, the sorts of things you'd like us to cover in, in future sessions. So um, uh, beyond that, please let us know if there's anything else we can assist you with. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you again soon and hope that you'll join uh, one or more future sessions uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, but for now, thank you again and uh, we'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Thanks everyone, bye-bye.